Hello, I'm Tim Toomey, and it has been my honor to serve as your city councilor, and I hope to continue to serve you, the residents of Cambridge, in the next council term. First, I want to thank CCTV for providing this public service announcement and for all the great work they do for public access to our community throughout the year. I'm running again for city council because I love the city and I want to ensure that Cambridge remains a welcoming community where people from all backgrounds can thrive in a kind, inviting, and inclusive city with affordable housing, educational vocational opportunities, and recreation spaces open to all. Constituent services are my number one priority. I pride myself in providing excellent constituent service in being accessible and having an active presence at community events. As a public servant, my role is to be out in the community. For example, this weekend, I was able to engage with residents at the St. Cosmos and Damien Feast, the Cambridge Port Pride Day, the All-Star Baseball Game at Tobin Field, and the Girls Softball Banquet. As a longtime city councilor, I've fought for and produced results on behalf of our community. To address the housing crisis, I've taken action that's produced over 1,000 units of affordable housing, increased the percentage for inclusionary housing, and increased linkage fees for developers, ensuring the families can stay here in Cambridge. I've been a strong supporter of our small business community and fought to expand the recycling program to include small business owners, saving them thousands of dollars each year. And thanks to great financial planning, we have worked to completely rebuild almost all of our public school buildings, starting with the recently opened Martin Luther King, Luther King School on Putnam Ave, and now with the redevelopment of the King Open Community Complex, which will bring a new pool, a library, and two schools to the Wellington ha Harrington neighborhood, and with the Tobin School in the pipeline. I've also asked the city to pr purchase additional fire and rescue trucks. That is a top priority of mine. Open space has been a priority throughout my career, and my advocacy has created over three and a half new acres of open space in East Cambridge. Currently, I'm advocating for the smart redevelopment of the Volpe site that will bring low and middle income housing, and that's important, middle income housing also, family housing, three bedroom units, into Kendall Square, as well as open space and community recreational spaces that will serve residents of all ages. In the coming term, we need to continue to find inventive and bold solutions for our problems. We need to face the housing crisis head on, expand housing, affordable housing opportunities through all parts of the city, and encourage the city to expand on my proposal to bring affordable housing to the Episcopal Divinity and Leslie University site on Brattle Street. We can also consider my suggestion of a housing overlay district that will spread affordable housing throughout Cambridge as we must also consider transfer fees on large real estate sales that can bring in millions and millions of dollars to for affordable housing. This is important to maintaining the, maintaining the city's diversity and keeping long-term residents in our city. There's a lot of work to be done to ensure that Cambridge does not become a city of the haves and the have-nots. I will continue to support a strong working class and work to reduce income inequality. I have been and continue to be a strong advocate for the unions and organized workers to provide livable wages to their members. And I will continue to fight for the small business community that goes to work every day to ensure a good life for their families and serve our residents. Another priority of mine as a Cambridge remains a safe community. We certainly have all been very troubled by the recent violent incidents in our city. As we respond, we must expand the presence of public safety personnel. And additionally, I am committed to opening a Central Square police substation. No resident should feel threatened in their home by gunshots coming into their apartment. This is totally unacceptable. Public safety also means smart design of our infrastructure that can accommodate all forms of transportation. I've been a staunch advocate for a multi-use path along the Grand Junction that can serve cyclists and pedestrians alike. In addition to this, emergency vehicles and ambulances must be able to reach all areas of the city rapidly as city streets get redesigned. It would be my honor to once again receive your number one vote on Tuesday, November 7th, so that I can continue to be your city councilor and fight for the concerns of all our neighborhoods. You can visit my website at timtoomey.org 
to find out more about my work and my goals. My social media links are also there. I can also be reached at 617-491-1846, and I have my district office at 550 Cayman Street, where you're always welcome to stop by and say hello, and even to see me on the street, just stop and have a conversation. I would really enjoy that. Again, thank you, and I would truly appreciate your number one vote on Tuesday, November 7th. Thank you.